because this thing is free. It is free right now and you can switch models. I'm gonna give you four reasons that you're gonna wanna try Google's anti-gravity instead of cursor. Now they're both IDEs uh, and Google's anti-gravity is just the latest of VS Code forks to come to the market. So there's cursor, there's windsurf, and now there is anti-gravity by Google, which is another fork of Microsoft's VS Code. They are agentic AI coding platform. For those of you who have used Cursor, you will recognize anti-gravity. I'm going to give you the four reasons that you're going to want. By the way, if you're a developer and you're trying to be more consistent with your coding, shipping, building, uh, join my habit huddle. It's an application I built to help you build good habits. And I have one that is for coding. I'm now starting to invite other people and I would love to build a little community of people who are working on cool projects and building stuff together. Uh, it's also available as a Discord bot, so you can join my Discord channel and build there. And the number one reason is right here in my error message. You have reached the quota limit for Gemini 3 Pro High. I blasted this thing for about two hours in planning mode, and I reached my quota because this thing is free. It is free right now and you can switch models. I don't know if you can exhaust the Claude Sonnet 4.5 model. I don't know how the open source model works, but they do have some models here for you to try out. So right away off the bat, you get access to arguably the best model on the planet, which is Gemini 3 Pro, and you get access to Anthropic's Claude Sonnet 4.5, which is incredibly good. The only thing missing here is ChatGPT 5.1, uh, which this might be unpopular, but I think ChatGPT 5.1, although slower, produces better results. Some of the times, at least it has for me than Gemini 3 Pro. And I feel like I, I wanna be really reserved in saying that because the way these models work is sometimes they get buffed, sometimes they get nerfed. You don't really know what's gonna happen uh, in a couple months, how how they're gonna behave and, and act, but Gemini, Three has been really good for me, but 5.1 sometimes has a slight edge depending on the task. Now, that's the first thing, the first major reason to try anti-gravity, to consider ditching cursor for a little bit, at least run them side by side. Um, the, next, the next big thing, in my opinion, is planning mode. Now, planning mode is really good, and actually the next two topics are based on planning mode. It's stuff that planning mode can do. So if you look down here at the conversation modes, you can see that we have planning mode and we have fast mode. Now planning mode is when you are scoping out a whole project or a major feature and you need your AI to really think about what it's doing and create a full picture of the whole architecture, the technology behind what you're gonna use, the color schemes, the marketing, the branding, all of it, you you wanna use planning mode for stuff like that. Fast is when you're vibe coding. That's when you're just like, hey, I uh, found a bug, here it is. Can you fix it real quick for me? Type of stuff like that. Um, but planning mode has been really good. I did everything in planning mode so far and I did, it in, uh, I did it in Gemini 3 Pro High. Now what I'm doing here is making a test application called Cat of the Day, just messing around with it. But watch this. When I started making this, I asked it to create a product requirements document for cat of the day. I tried to keep it concise while not overdoing, you know, exactly what I want. And what's interesting is that this is version four. So it completely replaced this, this document instead of editing it. Now, this is something a little bit different than what cursor does. Cursor creates a document, but it edits it. Um, and you have to accept the changes to the edits of the document. I like this better because it sort of throws away what what wasn't working with your old product requirements document and creates a new one. So this is really good. Now, here is my third thing that that is just mind blowing. And not my, I mean, just watch. So I gave it requirements and it started creating artifacts. Look at this. So anti-gravity has this, these, this ability to create these artifacts. So my design spec is right here. The design philosophy, immersive, minimalist, premium, full screen layout, blah, blah, blah. Here's the color screen. Here's the color scheme. And oh, that's down there. I, I don't want to show you that yet. I'll get back to that. The implementation plan. It you can go through and have an implementation plan. And then what else? The other thing that you can do is highlight sections of what you've been working on and add comments. So I can say, I'm not so sure about this 
different way to approach the goal. And then I can add that comment and then I can review it. You can see up here it's reviewable. So I can do that and go through multiple stages of artifacts and planning and then I can submit them for review and Google will go through all of that. Google's anti-gravity will go through all of that. And the way it does it is because it's it, it, it can launch multiple agents at the same time. Now, Cursor also has this, but this in, in Google, this feels like really, really well integrated. Um, the artifacts are incredible. Uh, I, I absolutely love it. So th that that's like that's one of the big things for me. Now, here is the last one. Uh, the This is just a massive, massive game changer for me. And that is the fact that Google can integrate with Nano Banana, which is their AI for creating images, and they can generate mockups for you. So as you can see here, generated my first mockup and then went through. Oh, this is this is one of my last mockups. Generated my mockup, um, but I have multiple mockups in here. So if I can go back here, I can see this one. Oh, the claim this spot mockup, the mystery cat of the day, somebody reserved it. And this is all just ideas I'm kicking around here. This is only a couple hours of playing around, but I have a full application built um, based on this and it's very very close to what I what I wanted and it also I, I didn't know how to build so this is my first time building a react native application like this and I asked I asked uh, how do I do this like what am I so supposed to do it created a new artifact it created a walkthrough artifact for me to see how to run my application which is exactly what I did and then if you look at my phone you can see I have an application here and I can I can swipe through it. You can see this screen that you kind of recognize from the artifact that I just showed you. Oh, look, a cat spot is available. Oh, a cat spot is coming soon. Claim this spot. All of this is running right now locally on my computer. I have I have had to do almost nothing. That's how good Gemini 3 Pro is. And these artifacts are exactly what my app or what the what the AI is building now. So it's it's incredible. The artifacts are really good. I love it. 